What is up, my Aries? How are you guys today? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. I hope everybody's doing okay. I really, really do. Welcome, my newbies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm here to do your weekly. You know, normally I do the bi-weekly, but I've had a little extra time lately, so I'm going to go ahead and do a weekly for you guys. Um, thank, I just wanted to say real quick while I'm showing, um, thanks so much to everybody that did the two for 20. I super, super, super appreciate it. Um, I'm still running that. Um, because it's a good deal and you know everybody can use a little umph and pep in their step and you know that's my way of giving umph and pep in the step so um, and I know it's hard times for everybody right now so um, I'm just throwing that out there so it's available if anybody wants it you know just um, PayPal and email me for the two for 20 any of the other readings um, email me first because I can customize those to you um, I can do anything you want on those okay the two for 20 is a little different, but the other readings, I can do anything you want and customize them however you want. I can use whatever decks you want. If you want me to focus, poke, blah, I can't speak today. Focus on a person, place, thing. I can do that. Whatever you want. And also, real quick, um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm offering a new romance read because I just got a plethora of new decks in. Super awesome decks. Let me show you the romance ones real quick, and then I'll quit blabbing. Between the Sheets by Fire Witch Tarot. Um, Twin Flame Soulmate Confessions Edition by Lauriana OG Tarot. These are super awesome. They get so in depth and deep. You just have no idea. These are awesome. Okay. And also Sensual Desires by Fire Witch Tarot. And like I said, I, if you're interested in the personal readings, anything but the two for 20, just email me first. We can talk about it. I can do any decks you want, or I can just do it. You know, um, all best based, off, based off your situation. So just let me know. And also, I have these. I do these for the monthly Twin Flame messages, eternal messages, Twin Flame journey messages, and the Hidden Truth Oracle. And these are all really good decks, too, especially this one. Okay, well, that's it. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus and uh, Jupiter signs because... Um, you can, once you figure those out, which you can Google that, what's my sun moon rising Venus sign. Oh, see, you guys, I cannot speak today. Um, once you figure that out, you can cross watch your other signs, and you'd be surprised what useful information you can find in there. Okay, just letting you know that. Um, so time is fluid, energy is fluid, and everybody has free will. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're ready to roll, Pisces. Oh, and don't forget, if my soul tribe resonates with your soul tribe vibe, and I hope, hope, hope it does, um, if you could ring a little bell and subscribe for me. I'd super, super appreciate it, Pisces. I so would. Um, and if you could like share my link, my YouTube link on your um, Facebook, I'd appreciate that too, if you'd be willing to do that. Okay, well, let's let's roll. Let's roll, let's roll. Just saying. Okay. If I hear or see anything, I'll let you know, okay? All right. First card out. Three of Wands reversed. Three of Wands upright. Uh, three of Wands upright is efforts rewarded, success in business endeavor, um, investment or work venture. Aries Leo Sag energy, but it's reverse um, Aries. Oh, I said Pisces. I said Pisces, and I mean Aries. I am so sorry, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. I just did Pisces. I'm so sorry. Aries, Aries. Okay, Aries. Okay. So, all right, three of wands reversed. So, a business venture, investment venture, or a work situation is not being rewarded. Next card, knight of um, swords reversed, and this is a court card, so you could very well be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, and this person is in reversed mode right now. So, um, whoever you're dealing with, you know, this... There's millions of Aries out there. So whoever you're dealing with Aries, um, however this resonates for you, your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, reverse. Okay, upright, a Knight of Wands. I'm, I'm sorry, a Knight of Swords is in and out player energy. That's upright. Um, flighty player in and out. But reversed and a Knight is in and out player energy, flighty energy with bitchy, cold, detached, um, belittles people, I mean, gossips, lies, all, I mean, the whole kit and caboodle. So, this, whoever energy you're dealing with right now, whoever Gemini, Libra, Aquarius you're dealing with, that's not a, na that's a nasty energy to be dealing with right now, I'm just saying, because night upright and then reversed is nasty, nasty energy, I'm just saying, because, you know, 
It's not a, a king, a queen, a high priestess, or a, a emperor. I mean, it's just nasty energy, I'm just saying. Especially reverse. Okay. But regardless, you want to end a conflict. Um, because we have five of swords reversed. And that's ending a conflict. Because upright, it's conflict. Okay, so that's good. Maybe you want to end a conflict with this knight of um, swords. But we'll keep going, okay? Okay. So then we have six of pentacles reversed. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. Um, but you do not want to be charitable, harmonious, or cooperative. You want to end the conflict, but you don't want to be charitable, cooperative, or harmonious in this um, business, work, or investment venture. Possibly with this um, um, Knight of uh, Swords reversed. We'll keep going to see. Okay. okay. And then we have Queen of Swords upright. So another person. So you've got two air signs up in here. Um, and this is more Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. So, but this one's upright. This, and I do strongly feel it's two separate energies. One is this Knight of um, Swords Reverse. Bitter, spiteful, cold, detached, lies, manipulative. But the other one is upright in their upright state. Thank God for that. Um, and this is just, tell. and this is a queen, not a knight. So this person tells it how it is, tells the truth, is upright. Okay. Well, that's a lot better than this energy, that's for sure. And this is a Gemini, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy too. Okay. Okay, Aries. Let's dive into this. Okay, so your efforts aren't rewarded in some kind of business, um, um, work, or investment venture. Spirit, can I get a clarifier for Three of Wands Reverse, please? Can I get a clarifier for a Three of Wands Reverse, please? Um, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Okay. So your efforts aren't being rewarded in some kind of um, business venture, it looks like. Because a lot of Pentacle energy up in here. Money, money, money. Okay. And I strongly feel in this situation, this is strict, This is about money. Pentacles, pen Pentacles. I don't think this is a person. I really don't. I think your two people are right here. But we'll keep going and see. Okay. Um, and it can resonate different for different folks because everybody's on different life paths and time paths. All right, Spirit, can I get a um, clarifier for your um, Knight of Swords Reverse, please? Spirit, can I get a clarifier for your Knight of Swords re uh, Reverse, please? Spirit, can I get a clarifier for your Knight of Swords Reverse, please? I think this Knight of Swords Reverse is super pissed off about this ending of this um, uh, investment or business venture, to be honest. That's what it's looking like in the cards. Not the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Spirit, can I get a clarifier for your Knight of Swords Reverse, please? Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, clarify for your knight, your bitchy, liar, manipulator, um, in and out, flighty player energy, knight of swords, Ge Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This one, not the other one. There's two people, two air signs. Um, is four pinnacles upright. This knight of, uh, knight of swords reverse um, does not want to help others and is greedy, greedy, greedy. All about the money, money, money. Well, that would make sense why they're pissed off about the ending of this business deal or, or work deal. or I strongly think, think it's a business deal or an investment, maybe. Um, okay, so yeah, they're pissed off because they don't want to help. Um, they're selfish, and they're pissed off that this uh, business venture went south. Um, but it has caused the devil in reverse, so that's a good thing. Because, you know, devil in reverse is ending control, attachment, or any narcissistic behavior, or any, like, addictions, like sex addictions, or alcohol, or drugs, or gambling, or anything like that. So, I know this air sign is super pissed because the ending of this work, or business, or investment venture the, um, that did not have any success. Um, because they're greedy and, and don't want to help others and thinking about themselves. But it has ended some kind of devil energy. 
So that's good. And you, Aries, want to end a conflict. I don't blame you. But you don't want to end a con you want to end the conflict, but you you're being greedy too, it looks like. You don't want to be charitable, harmonious, and cooperative. Alright, let me get a clarifier on here. Um, six of uh, Pentacles reverse. Spirit, can I get a clarifier on your six of pentacles reverse, please? Spirit, can I get a clarifier on your Six of Pentacles reverse, please? Okay. All right. Clarify on your Six of Pentacles reverse. Um, you're not help, wanting to help, not be, uh, being harmonious and cooperative, but you want to end the um, conflict is Ten of Wands reverse. Okay. You're not being charitable, harmonious, and cooperative, but you want to end the burden. Maybe you're not being charitable, harmonious, and cooperative with this Knight of um, swords very well could be. Let's keep going and we'll see. Because you might just want to end the conflict with this knight of uh, wands over here. Bitchy, gripey, liar, and manipula manipulator. We'll see. Um, so you want to end the burden because ten of, bar ten of wands is the heaviest burden in, tar in the tarot. So you want to end the huge responsibility or burden. Um, Eight of Pentacles reversed. So Eight of Pentacles upright is comfort achieved through work and persistence, but it's reversed. You want to end the burden, but you don't feel, um, you're not putting in the hard work to make it happen. That's basically what this is saying. Okay, and then five of um, cups upright, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But you're learning from your mistakes and moving forward. That's emotional energy. Okay, and you're moving forward with a queen of um, queen of swords upright. A, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Honest, tells it how it is. Upright, to completely different energy from this one. These are two separate air sign energies that you're dealing with in this spread, Aries. And I can feel it. Two completely different ones. Okay, so that, it's making a little more sense. Spirit, can I get a clarifier for um, Aries, uh, Queen of Wands upright, please? I mean, sorry, Queen of Swords upright. Okay. Seven of Cups upright. Yeah. See, I was kind of feeling this, but I was waiting to see what the card said. Okay. So, seven. Of, you got Seven of Cups upright, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio um, energy. So, you've got feelings for this. Now, there's two different air signs in here. I told you this. You've got feelings. For this other air sign, the Queen of um, Swords Upright. Emotional feelings, it looks like. Okay, um, Four of Swords Upright, but you're, um, which is death, which is putting a stopper into something or transforming it to start something new. Okay. All right, let me see what we got going on. Okay, Aries. <clears throat> For whoever this resonates with, you've got, you're dealing with two people in this spread, and you had no major arcanas at the beginning, but two people. Your Knight of Wands reversed, um, your um, bitchy liar, manipulator, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords. And then your Queen of Swords upright, completely different energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, upright. Um, tells it how it is, straightforward, honest. Okay. Okay. So let's start from the top, Aries. Um, you had unsuccessful business, work, or investment venture that your efforts were not being rewarded um, that had to be put a stop to. And it ended. And it ended because... I strongly feel it's had something to do with this Knight of um, Swords Reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, bitchy, liar, complainer, manipulator, cold, um, instigator, um, flighty, in and out player energy person. Um, ended, I think, strongly because of, maybe not the whole reason why, but I think this person had played a part in it for sure, Okay. In the ending of this business deal, for sure. Okay, um, but this Knight of Wands reversed 
is upset about this ending of this business venture for sure. They're very greedy and they don't want to help others. But regardless of this feelings of this Knight of Wands uh, um, reversed, it had to be done, it looked like, because it ended some kind of um, devil energy that was going on regarding this business work or investment deal. So regardless of this King of, uh, I'm sorry, this Knight of Wands reversed attitude and feelings over this business venture, that you and this um, Aries, you and this Knight of Wands reverse were in together, it looks like, it had to be done because it ended some kind of um, devil energy, whether it was narcissism, control, attachment, or, you know, sex addictions or gambling or alcohol or drugs or something like that, some kind of devil energy. And you wanted to end the conflict, which that makes sense. But you still don't want to be charitable, harmonious, and cooperative but you want the burden to stop, to, to, to be done and over with. Um, but you're not putting in the hard work to do that. But you're learning from your mistakes and moving forward. And I strongly, and I do think this Knight of Wands reversed, um, it could be masculine or feminine energy in the Tarot. Um, Knight can, um, of course all the energies can be interchangeable. But I think this person was business, obviously business oriented with you, however this applies to your life. But I think it might have been a little bit of love too, to be honest. And I say that because you not only ended the business deal with this Knight of Wands reversed, but I think the reason why they're reversed and, you know, all this crazy behavior too, it's because it was a love situation too, it feels like in here too. Um, but your emotions is over here towards this queen of wands upright i'm sorry queen of swords upright the other air sign because there's two air signs you're dealing with in your life for whoever this resonates with so you're moving away from this other um knight of swords reversed um and this crazy business deal that was causing some kind of devil energy to someone or something and moving towards emotionally your emotions aries and you're learning from your mistakes and moving forward towards this new air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, upright, queen of swords, upright. So you're detaching business-wise and emotionally from this knight of swords reverse and going towards uh, another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, queen of swords, upright. Um, which you have lots of new feelings and creative passion towards. Um, and you want to, okay, and this makes sense now. And you want to put a death towards this old air sign energy and business deal. You just want to put it all behind you. And you want to transform and move forward with this new air sign over here. This queen of wands. I'm um, sorry, queen of swords upright. Jim Nolly requires. Okay, that makes sense, Aries. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. I feel you. Okay. Okay. So, I think it's pretty well clarified now. I, I mean, I, I really truly do. I think it is now. But I'll get you some overall um, gypsy clarifying cards for your overall spread Aries, okay? And then we'll close it. Spirit, can I get some gypsy clarifying cards for Aries, please? Spirit, can I get some gypsy clarifying cards for Aries, please? Okay. Overall, it's not too bad, Aries. It, it really, it's really, really not for whoever this resonates for. And remember, it could resonate for you if you have uh, Aries in your um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter in your charts. Just letting you know. All right, so first card, overall clarifying energy. Sweetheart reversed. Journey reversed. Okay, let me get, let me get some more. I feel like I need to get at least one more. Spirit, can I get some more Gypsy clarifying cards? For, um, okay. Okay, so I got Sweetheart Reverse, Journey Reverse, Size Upright, and Reunion Upright. Okay, Aries. Ooh, you, you do have a lot going on in here, up, up here. In here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, Lord, y'all, sorry. And up here. Okay. So here we go. Yep, remember how I told you I thought this was love and business? Yeah, I totally do. Um, and I do think you did once have strong feelings for this Knight of Wands reverse. I really, really, I mean, Knight of Swords reverse. I do. Or maybe not super strong, but feelings, regardless. Um, but you know this person is toxic, toxic, toxic. And whatever venture, business venture y'all were in apparently was super toxic. 
um, because you just you know it's the it was the devil energy and you just want to end it and be done with it like cut your losses and go and I, I mean if it's that bad obviously it was that bad I'm just saying but I do think there were emotional feelings attached to this person and I said that earlier but you're putting all that aside and you're just moving forward learning from your mistakes and moving forward because you know it was it, apparently whatever in the world happened it was bad I mean you could just tell because all your emotions now are over here towards this new one. And I think you're doing that to push yourself forward and move forward. Because you're going to, you have, it looks like you're, a, you're air sign quality in it. Which, it makes sense. You're forcing yourself to cut attachments and feelings for this person. Because you feel like you have to. And moving towards, you know what's better for you. And that makes sense. And I totally think that's why there's sweetheart reverse there. Because... You did once have feelings for this Knight of Us Swords reversed. So uh, that makes sense. But journey reversed. So you're cutting attachments with this Knight of Want Swords reversed. Um, but you're not, um, there's no travel or forward movement. And you so in size upright. So you feel a little, uh, you know, a little down about it. I get it, Aries. I mean, that's just normal. As long as you, you know, get yourself back up and don't stay down. And then reunion revert upright. So, you're like I said, you're putting all your emotional energy towards this queen um, of swords upright. This other air sign, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius, another air sign. But I think this other air sign, this queen of um, swords upright, I think this might be an X. I truly, truly do. I, I, I really do. I feel it strongly in here. I'm just saying. Or somebody that you've known a long time. An ex or maybe a friend or a co-worker or somebody you've just known a long time that you know is a good fit for you. And you know in your head and your heart that it, this person is just a better person for you. Yeah, and it might not have been rom uh, you know romantic in the past. It might have been for some, but it, it doesn't necessarily have to be. But you know already previous with Reunion Upright that this person apparently you know this person apparently from previous because you know this person in your head and your heart is a good better match for you than this craziness that's going on going on over here okay Aries well, my golly um and that's it that's all I got for you I hope this helped please let me know if it did I would so love to know for real for real um and don't forget about the two for twenty if you're interested email PayPal um and then all the other readings email me first um, and I welcome all comments. I read all the comments and I welcome all the comments. I'm um, just no spammers, but the spammers kind of have died out. So that's good. Um, and that's it. All right. I'll see you guys later.